Well, good morning, friends. I hope y'all have been having a blessed day the last few days. And um, I rediscovered my little microphone, so hopefully these videos will be uh, clearer now with audio. Well, I just want to say that the inspiration for this video comes from one of my dear friends in the great state of Hawaii. And we talked a couple of weeks ago and I told her, I said, you know what? I have got to make a video about this subject matter because it's so true. So I've got about 25, 20 to 25 minutes before I get to work. So let me just tell you uh, what was pretty much revealed to me and my friend, especially as she was telling me some things. You know, remember the children of Israel. They begged and they begged and they begged for God to send them a deliverer. Well, the really the only thing they had a problem with in uh, the children of Israel when they was in bondage to Egypt. I don't know if I said that or not. But when they were in bondage to Egypt, the children of Israel prayed for God to send them a deliverer. Well, what they wanted to be delivered from wasn't necessarily their slavery. They didn't want to be set free necessarily from living in Egypt. They just wanted to be delivered from the taskmaster's whip. In fact, they probably wouldn't have minded building bricks as long as the taskmasters wouldn't have treated them so cruelly and whipped them. And the reason why I say that was when God brought forth the deliverer, which of course was Moses, and he led them out of Egypt into the, the desert and wilderness. They started crying. They wanted to go back. We want to go back. We followed you out here and our God has led us out here to kill us. The, the Egyptians are going to say we're going to die in the wilderness. <laughs> And their God led them out just to kill them. Of course, you and I know that that was nothing more than, and nothing less than the lie of the devil. They never considered that following God was going to be tough. They never considered that following God was going to be tough. Well, to get to the promised land, my friend, you got to go through some tough terrain. You got to go through some tough times before you get to the promised land. Our promised land is heaven. And we're crying and begging for God to take us away from this worldly taskmaster and to get us to heaven. But I want you to think of this. For the first time when they left Egypt and was out along with God in the desert, they was alone with God in the desert. They had no distractions. There was nothing in the desert to do. But to 
strive to get closer to God and to spend time with friends and enjoy the time of resting in peace. But that's not what they did. Because when Moses went up to get the Ten Commandments, instead of the children of Israel enjoying their freedom from Egypt and getting to know God, they resorted to the flesh and did hideous and vile sexual sins. So they wanted to be set free to fulfill the cravings of the flesh, the cravings of their evil heart's desires. That's terrible. They was ready to go back to Egypt so they could have food and shelter even though God was not there. Oh, I shouldn't be yelling this. I'm sorry. This I got to remember this speaker's just under my mouth. I don't have to yell, but God wasn't there. God was not in Egypt. And the children of God would rather go back to a place where God was not than to be in the desert where God was to be close to God. Glory, hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost so strong right in this little car. They chose to be where God was not so they could enjoy the comforts. And I'm telling you, we have done the same thing as the body of Christ. We have done the same thing here in 2020, 2021, and 2022. When this disease broke out, or pestilence, as the Bible calls it, in the last days there will be pestilences. When this pestilence broke out, we was all shut down in our home. We couldn't go to church. We couldn't go to football games, basketball games. A perfect, perfect time to be alone with God in this isolated desert of being confined to our homes. So what did we do? We started compromising with the world and we took their juice injected by a syringe so we could be free to go back out into the world so that we could be free and have the ability and the approval of the government. Now that you've taken the juice, you are now free to go worship you're free to go to football games, basketball games. You're free to travel. And you're going to find out that as time marches on, those that have not received the prick, those who have not received their special concoction that they put in a sy syringe, to get out and do things, you're going to have to take the prick. You think of that. What has taken their little prick awarded you? Now you are part of the in crowd. Now you are part of the compromised people 
And here is the sad thing. There are many Christians who pretty much had no choice in the matter. There is many men and women in the military that has had to take that against their will. There's many young people who went to college to become a learned person to perform a specific career. And their company requires them to do this, to get the prick. against their will. God is a just and fair God. And I'm sure that He looks at that in a different way than someone who claims to be a follower of Jesus Christ that will go out and get the prick just so they can be able to go back into the world and partake of its festivities. You know, the Bible says to come out from among the world and be separate, saith the Lord. Come out from among the world and be separate, saith the Lord. Touch not the unclean thing. Well, friend, I don't know if Christians are touching the unclean thing but the world sure is pricking people with the unclean thing friend let me tell you something before I end this video the days in which we live we better be sober and vigilant because it's just not the adversary walking around. You better believe the Antichrist is walking around. We need to come out from among the world separate ourselves from the affairs of this life do our job go home and worship God and be faithful to our wife our husband and our children let's be ready my friend when the trumpet of God sounds God bless you I pray